Hello guys, I'm glad uh, to be with you guys again this weekend. It's been quite a long time. I was uh, in holidays, so it was New Year's in Western world. Well, we're back in the H5P. Yes, the H5P. Even one year more was uh, 2018, New Year's Eve. Whatever, even we're still in 2018, we're in the H5P, whether you love it or not. That's why you want to master IP. That's why you have to master IP. That's the reason. If you wonder why you're here, it's because you want to master IP. Even Tesla cars, they have IP. Whether they have IPv6 or IPv4. You seen these Tesla cars? Oh, it's so lovely. I, I love them. I don't know why, like, this geeky hipster thing of being, being electric and avoid the oil was like, wow. Anyways. So, within the IP and the thousand million, million thousand hundred <laughs> uh, some protocols, you, we have we have uh, ICMP. So today we're gonna discuss about ping. Yeah. What is ping? It's a tool, right? I love this structure. You know, like what is like this kind of like tree, like the roots. So what is ping? A little bit like some discussion about ping. How it works. So in layer three. We're gonna see how. Um, sorry, guys. Uh, what is uh, I see, uh, Yeah, what is how it works with ICMP? Some translation uh, of the uh, of the output. So when I want to see how like wanna like translate the output of an of a ping. What is this? I, I don't even know. It's an arrow. It's like an. Uh, I, I wanted to, like, a, a, uh, yeah, a demonstration. So all this success information and ICMP and all these packets, great. Uh yeah. Then that's kind of like the basic. Then we're gonna jump towards layer four. Because this is working layer three, so there is something, some magic in layer four, right? With ping, so we're gonna show some tools that you can pretty much sense uh, socket in layer four. With uh, we're gonna use two powerful tools, tools PS ping. This was sort of third party development turns to be like Microsoft proprietary and then TC ping those tools like are capable to sense uh, either layer 3 and layer 4 at the same time that's awesome so um, yeah and then some demonstration obviously and then how you can get these tools and how you can install these tools um, yeah. Cool, cool guys. So without further ado, let's um, let's start with this. Okay, guys. So I already cleaned up my whiteboard. So let's start with this. Like ping. We're gonna discuss about what is ping. Okay, so ping it's a tool. So, for instance, if you're studying some electronic engineering or electric engineering, and then, like, you you will fulfill for a lot of like theory about volts and energy and atoms and all these things, but you haven't like seen like uh, in reality how this works. Like, you of course you cannot measure uh, balls with your hands with your fingers, right? So you need a tool in order in order to like. Um, validate 
what is going on in electron in electricity and electronic stuff. So there is some device like there is for instance some device uh, the multimeter, right? There is a multimeter. Then you have uh, the negative side and the positive side. So then uh, you as a student or as a worker, whatever you can, you're capable to measure uh, voltage and all these electronic and electric uh, metrics in order to identify whether it's uh, real or where it's working like for instance I have a at my home one multimeter just to troubleshoot some light um, I'm lately in, into IoT automation project so I use this to transform some of my rooms in my my home um, yeah so just to see like around 123 volts round because it's not calibrated so sometimes I get, I get 118 whatever okay so what is a multimeter in this case it's a tool to um, measure electricity and electric uh, theory so in this case ping is a tool for what to for reachability we want to identify reachability reachability between two endpoints reachability okay so this tool will this tool will help us to uh, identify reachability between two endpoints whether it's in the same house in the same um, campus or worldwide cross Atlantic uh, reachability this is so prehistoric tool okay so yeah let's do some testing yeah remember guys ping is a tool it's not a protocol it's a tool okay just keep this in mind okay so let's execute some ping um, okay so let's ping uh, h5p.com okay so as you can tell it uh, going towards uh, DNS of Google and then yeah that's a perfect example I love this why let's translate this so when I execute uh, when I execute this command this tool in Windows I'm right now in Windows uh, by default it, it will send four packets right so how many packets it send four um, then the destination because h5p.com from my computer in my room I just received two packets and I lost two packets so this first two packets was lost the second the third and the fourth so the second pair was received so 50% loss obviously 50% received obviously okay so let's um, translate this so I was trying to reach from my host to a public IP 172.17.251 which is the DNS translation or the, uh, the translation of the, my DNS which is H5P then this is the amount of bytes what, what uh, was sent in this packet then uh, the latency what is the latency okay so let me put this a little bit here so that's a cool um, oops latency right so that's important latency it's uh, it's a delay round trip basically delay round trip round trip time delay so let's bring back my TCP so what is the total amount of time it will take me from my room to H5P back and forth so it took me 79 milliseconds that's crazy 
crazy quick. So it took me 79 milliseconds to go back and forth. So what, uh, which one of these four packets was the minimum late latency it was 74 milliseconds. Obviously, this is the minimum, right? This was the maximum, obviously, 79. What is the average? 79 plus this between, uh, sorry, 79 plus this uh, divided in two, right? Obviously, so the average is 76. So you can sample like up to 10 and then you do like, you can get the minimum and the maximum, okay? So this is an average from my operating system, which is Windows. In case you have Unix, when you execute ping, by default it's unlimited, it's sending packets unlimited. In Windows, by default, it's sending just four packets, okay? So each packet is 32 bytes, okay? So, uh, I can type T, and then this is an unlimited thing. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and I finish it with Control C. What you can see here, packet sent was ten, received was ten, lost zero. When you lost packet, you will either see request timeout or network reachability. There is some different issues, like there is some different output you get it when you time it out or you, you like you lost packets. Which we're not gonna see it in this video. Um okay, so we already translate what it's going on in terms of the output of the ping of ping tool of ping tool within uh Windows operating system. Whoops. What's going on? So yeah, if your boss asking you or your supervisor asking you, um, what is the what is the the latency between our data center in Ukraine and um, North Dakota? So you can use just ping in order to find an average. And you can provide an average. Okay, so from Ukraine to the States can be around like between 180 milliseconds up to 350 or even 400 milliseconds. Well, it depends on the internet service provider you have, uh, whether you have VPN with IPsec, without IPsec, or MPLS, whatever. Uh, like there are a thousand of wide area network technologies and then they can provide you different average. So why this value is important? When you're deploying as an architect or you're deploying some new project from the very beginning, you need to start doing sort of like a baseline or trying to understand the necessities of the service or the system will be uh, on your network. Means if there is a critic finance uh, high algorithm system where you need to get like low latency, maybe they will say, hey dude, I cannot handle 73 milliseconds. It, it has to be like shorter this value. So you need to consider this in mind. This is quite important, right? Uh, yeah, when you go when you're getting quotes with your project manager or something related like this will be like well like many many metrics but this is one of them okay so you can quickly go with ping tool and you can re get it get this uh, metric okay so at this point we only do like uh, the output of ping um, yeah I don't have running now. Um, 
I don't have running right now on my uh, Cisco device um, but in the next video because this will be part number one uh, in the next video um, I will show ping demonstration about uh, from iOS from the Cisco operating system so for the sake of um, the understanding of ping and what it is as is uh, from a stretch uh, this is enough now